right, thanks for staying tuned in. Welcome to KOM News Extra. I'm Jason Salas, filling in for the vacationing Sonia Artero. Well, after hearing Japanese-American artist Roger Shimomura speak about his experiences in the World War II Japanese internment camps, University of Guam professor Dr. Kim Skoog was so inspired that he found a way to lure him to our island. Shimomura was able to deal with the stress of his experience through his artwork entitled Detention and Discrimination. This is work that earned him a substantial national and international amount of praise. Now, joining Dr. Skoog tonight is Daniel Westy. He's an associate professor of philosophy at Clemson University. Very, very good basketball team, I might add. So, Indeed. gentlemen, thank you very much. Sure. Our pleasure. All right. So always, always nice when we have gentlemen of such esteemed academic backgrounds. And, of course, that would be the two of you because Lord knows I had a tough time at UOG. But <laughs> enough about that, Dr. Dr. Skoog. Um, what exactly brought you to appreciate the work of uh, Mr. Shimomura? Well, I, I guess two things. One is I saw a lot of um, connection with, with Guam experience, you know, in terms of the internment camps here, and internment camps there, and, and, and the interaction of, uh, of, of, you know, your experiences you have and then relating that to artwork and other experiences. And so I, I really thought that that would be really resonate well out here with the people in Guam. And then on the second, I thought that the, this would be a good, a good experience or a good opportunity to bring people's attention to local art scene, local artists. And mm -hmm. so uh, uh, that inspired me to kind of to, to talk to him. And Roger, like, fortunately, uh, said, okay, it took about a year to get it. You know, his, he was booked ahead about a year, and so then we kind of planned on now. And, mm -hmm. and so, uh, we were, you know, we got this all set up. We um, just kind of finished a little bit here, I guess. Uh, we, uh, I contacted Guam Visitors Bureau and the Caja or the Guam Council of, of the Arts and Humanities, and uh, well, the Caja kind of fell away, but we did, uh, you know, Caja did give a grant to help support this, and then, uh, but we were in trouble because, you know, uh, Guam Visitors Bureau didn't really help out that much because of the other needs, I guess, and, and so uh, Katie Black from Continental and uh, Amy Lynn Salas from uh, Marriott, you know, came in and gave us complimentary, you know, support of the efforts, and that really made the difference. So. It's only been about a month since we've really been running around trying to get this thing all set up. It's really worked out good. And then since then, Guam Nissan and, and uh, Japan, Japan Club uh, have really come about to, to, to kind of help out. And so we've all made it possible. Well, like with so many things in life, it's all about the logistics. Yeah, last <laughs> minute. Yeah, it all falls in place, fortunately. All right. Well, well Daniel, we'll go for our next question to you, sir. And, um, of course, you teach uh, philosophy at Clemson. And um, from what I understand, you specialize in ethics. And you've written about ethics before in the context of philosophy. Um, what what about your areas of expertise drew you to Mr. Shimomura's uh, paintings as he expressed himself? Well, it was more the, uh, the exposure that my colleague Bill Liu gave me to the work and uh, the planning that he had underway for an exhibit at Clemson, Minidoka Revisited, which was mounted in 2005. Um, I do legal philosophy as well as ethics, and of course with the internment camps there are some large questions about uh, the constitutionality of the internment at all. Uh, but as uh, we talked more about it, I saw more uh, in Roger's work that had a, an ethical dimension to it, and that really excited me because I think that art is probably the best prompt for people to think about uh, ethical questions. Mm -hmm. uh, and we were talking before the program about the movie The Matrix. That's an excellent example mm -hmm. of how people are prompted to think about something they perhaps wouldn't otherwise think mm -hmm. about. Ethics and morality in the case of The Matrix. Eh? Yes, well <laughs> both and of course uh, quite clearly in Roger's work. Mm -hmm. There's uh, an invitation in this work to think carefully about the profound injustices because there's more than one sort of injustice Indeed. involved in the internment. Okay, we'll tell you what, we are going to take a quick commercial break but stay tuned because when KWM News Extra continues we will talk about Mr. Shimomura's work as well as its impacts on the study of philosophy. Stay tuned, you're watching KUAN.